Ricky Gervais once said that the funniest women he knew were Dame Edna Average and Eddie Izzard. And that gag was said on his last stand-up show, which the humourless woke lefties also tried to cancel. Now, I understand that joke. And while Eddie Izzard and Dame Edna Average were funny, for me personally, it was Joan Rivers. I honestly can't think of a funny female comedian. Which brings me on to Rosie Jones. Now, this subject which I'm about to talk about can be controversial. And it's only controversial because of Rosie Jones's condition. Now, if you don't know who Rosie Jones is, she is a comedian and she suffers from cerebral palsy. And even though she's still young, she's had quite the career in television. Now, I understand, doing my research, she is a a writer for comedy shows. She's appeared on 8 out of 10 Cats, The Last Leg. The Last Leg, that should tell you everything, really. So, she's done the rounds on all the uh, left-wing panel shows, which are infested by completely out-of-touch, unfunny, multi-millionaire left-wing comedians who live in London. And their gags are basically Trump, Brexit, Nigel Farage, Boris Johnson, the Conservative Party, and anyone and anything who isn't left of Chairman Mao. Now, like I said, Rosie Jones is a comedian. And I've watched the videos, and I saw her name trending on social media. And one guy wrote the comment that, I'm sorry, but Rosie Jones isn't funny. Now, you know, comedy is subjective. What I find funny someone else might not find funny. And there's always someone who finds a a gag offensive. Hence why the Wokey Cokies are uh, yet again trying to get (laughs) Kid Gervais's latest comedy stand-up show on Netflix removed because they're humourless, aren't they? And all he did was tell the truth about illegal migrants and uh, Gary Lineker, basically, and that's it. But hey-ho, it is what it is. But back to Rosie Jones. So I replied to this comment and I said, yes, I agree, she's not funny. And she's not funny because I can't understand a word she says. It's uncomfortable and awkward to watch. Someone stood on stage trying to get her words out to tell a joke. And yet she's, because of her condition, struggling uh, to get to the end of it. And it's uncomfortable for me. And it's not her fault. She didn't ask to be born with cerebral palsy, this this horrible, terrible, uh, debilitating condition. And fair play to her, you know, for having a go and doing this. I wouldn't have the bollocks, uh, just like her, (laughs) incidentally, Uh, you know, to go on stage and um, crack a joke or do stand-up comedy, even though I am able-bodied. And I really do respect her and tip my hat for her courage in doing so and continuing Uh, to do it but I can't help but feel that she does this as a living because the woke left have told her she's funny. Now as I've said before that part of the political spectrum they're not about merit they're about box ticking. The progressive and woke uh, left-wing producers on these shows such as The Last Leg and 8 Out of 10 Cats they've invited her onto these, um, these productions these shows and had to go on live at the Apollo, because having a comedian with uh, cerebral palsy would show the world how virtuous they are, when in fact they're not. They're just weaponizing this poor woman's condition to ensure that that uh, particular box is ticked. It's like, and I, I don't mean to be cruel here, but it's like telling someone with no fingers that they'd be a good sniper, or telling a blind person, hey, you'd be a cracking taxi driver. But to encourage a a person with cerebral palsy, who because of her condition can hardly um, string a sentence, which means a joke coming from her can take forever and you can't understand it, is just a, it's one cruel joke in itself, isn't it? And if you know who Rosie Jones is and you do find her funny, fair play. Like I said, comedy is subjective. But I can guarantee you folks, there will be people in that audience listening to her and laughing and applauding her jokes because they feel they have to and if they don't then they'll be labeled all these usual tropes by the lefties for not playing along and it's a very sad state of affairs and like i said i think it's it's cruel and please don't get me wrong i'm not saying this woman should spend the rest of her life sat down in a wheelchair waiting for death i don't and i really do mean it when i say i applaud her courage 
but for me personally, I find it awkward uh, to watch. And that is why I don't find her funny. And there we go, that's my video. I hope you understand what I was trying to say there, but I really can't help but feel that uh, Rosie Jones has been pushed into a career to satisfy other people's political uh, ends. And that's that. Please let me know what you think in the comments. And until the next time, Roger Trout. Thank you.